Hey Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today I'm doing the one hour axe restoration challenge. I better stop talking and get working. I got a lot to do. Well if I'm going to do an axe restoration video in one hour I better choose carefully. I've got a lot of axes to choose from. Oh, there's going to be some really awesome axe restoration videos coming up here. I've got this awesome double bitted axe that I am chomping at the bit to, to do. I've got this this other beautiful little, uh, bearded axe here. There's just a lot of axes to choose from, but I think I uh, I better keep it simple. I think I want to restore this one. This, this awesome little hatchet by Craftsman. Its handle is pretty beat up. It's got some damage, but I, I think we can salvage it. All right, let me show you this little hatchet here. It's in pretty good shape. The head's on pretty tight. It's got these two nails or wedges or something in the top of it. And uh, it seems to be in pretty good shape. It says Craftsman in the side of the head. And uh, it's just a great little ax. And before we get started, I need to clean off my workbench. All right, let me, uh, let me show you what we got here. We've got this uh, wooden handle that's pretty cracked but still in really good shape it's got a little bit of damage right here and you can see where it's not quite seated properly it looks like somebody took a handle that was made for another axe like a replacement handle and jammed it onto this and then we've got the nails in there we've got some damage from somebody beating on it and you can see the edge is a little uneven well, first things first, let's uh, let's get this off the handle. Prying these nails out is n not working. Whoa! There we go. Got one of them. There we go. There number two. All right, we're gonna get all the rust off with this uh, navel jelly right here. All right, I got the navel jelly sitting on the ax head. We're gonna let that sit while I go work on the handle. Give it a good 30, 40 minutes. It should be spotless. Those wedges really damaged the wood see it split pretty bad all the way down to here. We're gonna have to cut that off and then uh, shave this down. It'll also help us uh, get rid of this damage right here. Well guys, this is coming along really good. We're 15 minutes into this build and things are moving along very nicely. This bastard rasp is doing a great job trimming away this material. It's really aggressive and it's nice and wide so it helps me get nice even edges. Uh, hopefully this will save me a lot of time. Well, I've spent about eight minutes reshaping this handle but I need to see if the ax head's gonna fit well on this and whether I have frankly enough wood left to really do this. Um, so we'll go see how the axe is doing and hopefully the navel jelly has uh, done its job by now. That's coming along good. Let's give it a new coat. Well, that navel jelly is still doing its job, so I'm gonna make the wedge while I'm waiting. All right. There we go, got a little wedge. All right, 15 minutes worth of work on the navel jelly. I think we're gonna have to call that good. What do you think, Nathan? Is that looking pretty good? Yeah. Well, I've got the head fitted on. Now I need to sand the handle and get an edge on this ax. But unfortunately, I've gobbled up about 40 minutes of my time. So I need to hurry it up.
Well, there we go. That gobbled up 12 minutes. So I'm at 52 minutes into the project. I really got to hurry now. Um, looks great. Only had time to sand it with 150 grit. But uh, let's get this thing oiled up, see what it looks like. There we go. This is frustrating. I've I've got the fit so tight on there that it's closed up the the slit I made with the saw, and I can't get the wedge in. It's just too tight. So I've got to fix my wedge really quick, and this is going to cost me time I don't have. Oop. Oh man, my wedge broke on me. It is just on there so tight. I've got this fit as about as snug as any axe I've ever mounted and it just doesn't want to let that wedge in there. I think I'd have to use a metal wedge. It's just crazy tight. But we're gonna call this good because it is not coming off. <laughs> I straightened out the edge, and to do that, you grind down the edge and then you rebevel it. That took way more time. That was a good 15 minutes, um, and so I am over time. Well, there we go, guys. It's 6.01 p.m. I started this at 4.45, so one hour, 17 minutes. I didn't make the challenge, uh, but I came darn close. I think if I hadn't have tried to to redo the bevel from scratch and you know straighten that, that out, I think I would have made it or come a lot closer. That grinding took a lot more because as the edge was squampus and I wanted to to make that straight again. Um, there's a couple corners I cut. Um, I, I really need like a cross metal wedge in there, but I need a real thin one because this is so tight. And the ones I have are so thick, it would just crack everything, especially this old wood. So I have to fabricate that, so I just skipped it. I would have liked to polish this up a little bit more and hit it with the navel jelly a little bit more and sand the handle a little bit more. But other than that, this turned out really well. And for an hour, 17 minutes, not bad. And you notice other than the grinder, I didn't use any power tools. So with really minimal tools and a $90 grinder, you can, uh, you can, refurbish and restore uh, an axe. Woo! Oh. Hey, look at that. You can throw it too. All right, there we go, guys. There's another axe. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section which axe you want me to do next. We got some really fun ones. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more tool restoration videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, check the link in the description for our playlist. And don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Get out, try this at home. It's loads of fun. Thanks for watching.